guys welcome back to my video so today we're in the bathroom so you know what that means skincare time but i just put my pajamas on this is just like the skeggiest top with like some trousers because you know but i've just taken my lashes off i've just been out for drinks with the gang but um yeah i just want to show you my new kind of skincare routine because i've got some new products and i love them i said i would review them so this is the oat cleansing balm from the inky list which i love for taking off my makeup like i've literally i went back on the white pipe um not the rums and i really should not have because it's not good for your skin or the environment so you literally just like rub this all over your face get a bit of water and it will literally melt off your makeup like i know everyone loves watching videos of people removing their makeup so here you go gang just watch the real Siobhan fucking come out um but then I use like I have a pink erase your face that I got from my bestie Georgia uh for Christmas and then this is literally filthy because I do need to wash it well I wash it once a week um and then I just go with this again you just need to wet this so like, you don't actually need to use anything when you use um a, a racial face you can just wet it and it'll take it off but i like to use the cleanser and then go in with this just to get everything off and then i'm gonna go in with let's get it and i've been using the cerave hydrating cleanser which also does have a little bit of makeup remover and like not loads but it really is lovely on the skin i'm not gonna lie cerave is really good for like sensitive skin and you know, like dry skin which is literally me because i have psoriasis i'm like dry and sensitive so then i go back in with my uh face halo face halo that's the little one it's the racial face thing again and just scrub any of the shit that from my face i can never get off like all of my mascara like i really trouble all up my eyeliner and if it will be like you've got black all down your face and I will normally have it, but okay, cool. So, let's get that on. Lovely. And then I dry my face with just how. Just like, to be fair, I don't use loads of water because I use the Erasure Face, so like, it doesn't actually need to be dried that much. And then go in. So, this is the Inculus Hyaluronic Acid Serum. It's literally amazing. So, I'm going to go into this now. This is really good for plumping and hydrating your skin. So, I've just got one of those. It was literally £4 from Amazon because it was on sale. I'm going to do this. And I put it all down my neck as well. And then I go in with a gua sha. And so, basically, I've been learning how to drain my lymph nodes because I suffer really badly from swollen lymph nodes especially in my neck because of my psoriasis so basically you just want to like i start by doing this on my chest and i just scrape it to the side and then just go down the neck also i'm just really self-conscious of my neck like the skin is not as tight as it once was and like i do have a bit of a double chin from many angles and i hate it so but i'm not gonna lie i have been actually seeing a difference doing a gua sha like my neck gets really swollen and when i do this it genuinely does help so i go down a few times i literally just do this every single night and then i go up and i just press it underneath my ear like that and then do the same here and just kind of like push like this and then i kept like the kind of indent bit and go up the face as well just really like i don't even do it for that long really just a few times get it and then i use like the big flat end obviously you want to do it when you've got oil on your face so yeah then i just go woo up as well um sometimes i do this not every night i'm not gonna lie just pull my head and then yeah i also just take the flat end and go underneath the eye and just kind of drag like that but i only do that once or twice because the under eye skin is very sensitive but like when you do your washer, you want to be red. Like look how red I am. Like you want to be red when you're done. I did see that the other day. And I was like, well, that's good because I'm neon red when I do it. Then I go into, this is the Garnier Vitamin C Brightening Serum, which is like really good for your, um, well, what's the word? It's really good for scars and like protecting you from pollution 
but I mainly use it because I get really bad scarring from having psoriasis. So I just do this. Ooh, lovely. And then go into my new favorite product ever, which is called Advanced Snail Night Since Mucin Power Essence from Corex. And it's like, I think it's Cosrex. It's like Korean skincare basically, but obviously it's made with snail mucin. So look, can you see that? It's kind of gross because it's literally made of snail trail, but like, I'm not gonna lie, I'd rub anything on my face to stay youthful. So you wanna rub a rub dub on your face. And I'm not gonna lie, this has literally changed my skin. Like my skin has never been this soft, like ever, or as hydrated than using that. Like I know it's kind of gross and everyone's always like, oh, but honestly, it's genius. I love it. And then go into the James Reed Gradual Tan Coconut Water Tan Mist for your face. So big up to Lauren, um, Yvette's bestie, for putting us onto this because I love it. So then I just spritz this on my face. Oh, if I want to be really tan, do do two, but I actually haven't fake tanned, so I'll only do one. Um, and that's actually all I do for my nighttime skincare. And then in the morning, I do have a slightly different routine. So I think I'll come back in the morning and show you my morning routine as well, because I use like my ice roller, and then I use some other kind of bits. So I feel like I can show you that, and then you'll get a full kind of look for like the new skincare so yeah this is me at night i literally look like a glazed donut when i go to bed wake up in the morning my and you obviously see my skin it'll be like a bit brown but like very dewy very moisturized like it will stay it's like really tacky it's literally stunning um but yeah that's what i put on in the evening so then i will yeah i'll see you in the morning and we'll do our morning skincare because you know we're gonna say yeah i'm gonna say you four got this skin's gonna be plump so i'll well, see you in the morning should I do a transition okay see you in the morning Good morning. Okay, so it's actually the net, not the next day, the day after, because yesterday morning I was rushing, so I couldn't be bothered to film. But I just thought I'd show you my morning skincare. So I start by oh, ice rolling my face. So this I just got from Amazon, and you just put this in the freezer. You literally just wash it and put it in the freezer. Oh my god, it is so nice. It literally feels amazing. If also when you're like hungover, if you roll this on your face, it just feels so nice because it's so cold. You know how like. You want to put your face in a bowl of water if you're hungover. Um, not a bowl of water, a bowl of ice if you're hungover. And it literally cures you. It's a bit like that, really. But I do this, like, every morning to depuff my face. And it's also really good for, like, dark circles and just getting, like, your blood pumping around your face. So, I'm just... It's also really good for, like, your jawline. Like, obviously, I gua sha my neck every night. But it is really good for your jawline. Um, I actually don't watch wash my face in the morning because I once saw Jamie Genevieve say that the like all of your skincare products from the night before, like why would you then wash your face in the morning? Because obviously then it just all comes off. So yeah, I just do this for as long as I'm feeling. It's actually not that cold today, but you know we move and then if I have like loads of time I will do this for literally hours but sometimes I also do it with a face mask on as well that's when I'm having like the full pamper as it were so yeah then I just do that and then you just take this off and rinse and put it back in the freezer so I'll do that in a sec um and then obviously like I said I don't wash my face in the mornings but I do go in again with the snail mucin because it's just so hydrating. I don't put as much on in the morning because obviously I'm gonna put a full face on. So I just, oh, get that on. It feels really nice as well when you've got cold skin. Then I go in with my eye cream, which is from the Inky List. It's the caffeine eye cream. I only use this in the day. Um, maybe I should also use it at night, but I use it in the day. It's really good, like, if you obviously wear concealer, it stops it from creasing. And I don't know, I just like the feel in the morning to depuff the eye. I don't really get puffy eyes at night, only in the morning. And then I just go in with my usual Walida um, skin moisturiser, skin food. Go in with my Walida skin food moisturiser. 
and then I mix it with my Hydra 24 Hour Protect uh, SPF 50. I just mix them together because it makes like the thickest moisturiser ever. And then I just put that on as my skincare in the morning. It just goes nicely underneath all your makeup and obviously like the best thing you can do to like protect your skin, make sure you get it all down your neck as well. The best thing you can do to protect your skin is use SPF. Like, I introduced it into my routine a few years ago and ever since like everyone like everyone has told me always use SPF and like I've even met like um there's a lady I used to work with in my old job who was 40 she literally was looked so youthful and she was like SPF is the only thing that she would swear by so just protect yourself from the sun even when it's cloudy and yeah get it all down your neck and that is literally my morning skincare. And this is getting you up close. Yeah, so this is obviously what we look like. And then that's just like the perfect tacky base for your makeup. So I'll just do my full face and then say goodbye at the end. So you don't have to deal with like scary chiffon first thing in the morning. But I will be right back. Okay, we are, sorry, there's a guy right outside my window, but we are ready for the day. This is the look. Just kind of what I do every day. I just washed my hair and it actually went quite nice today. So yay for the hair. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this skincare video. I'll see you on my next one. Um, you know what to do, go over to Instagram. That oh, I was about to say Twitter, I don't have Twitter. Instagram, TikTok, you know the drill. Bye, love you.